Hello everybody, I'm Raphael Perry and it's time for even more Other Side. Now, in our last episode we faced off against the dreadful surgeon and he tore us apart with his scissors and scalpel blades and everything and it was really nasty. Um, there are different ways of handling him. Well, I, I know of at least one way that works, but I didn't have the armor values and the damage output to be able to do it. Now, as we start a new recollection and are capable of confronting the boss straight away, which I don't think I'm going to want to do, um, we have 400 Vitae and a Resurrection token. So we start with three level one daughters, but we can resurrect an experienced courage. daughter here in the cemetery. We could resurrect any, we could even just like go for Bell. Because you're like, hey, she never really got much of a chance to do very much. So here's some thoughts, right? I don't need to resurrect a daughter just yet. I can wait a bit and do it. Having a level 3 daughter now will make the earlier missions a lot easier. But... If I'm going to be able to support her, I need to level up some other lower level daughters too. Then again, I could resurrect a daughter and sacrifice her as, as Blanche here has a part of honor from the sacrifice of honor. The higher level the daughter sacrificed, the greater the quality of the um, sacrificial inheritance trait that goes to the new daughter who's on the receiving end. So in that regard, actually sacrificing higher level daughters who are very badly damaged to boost up lower ones could be an interesting meta twist. But going back to my basic overview here with 400 Vitae, I also have two memories that I started with uh, uh, using a remembrance benefit. So I could germinate two new daughters or germinate one daughter and equip two memories now plus 50 oh well I've done that now man I, would, I just wanted to like okay so sure the slam now does an extra 50 damage this is fine because what I really wanted to do here was give Imbued Blade a massive 20% damage boost. Alright. Now there's a... Ooh. This would be even bigger if we put it on a level 3 Blade Mistress, which we could gain from the cemetery. Remember their courage. Now, looking at these... Um, where are we? One of my level 3 gunslingers, Amy, has arrogance, so she's gaining a reduced experience gain, so she is not a good person to bring back. Blanche was nice and fun, moved a bit slower, extra armor, uh, pretty good. Um, a part of temperance. Okay. Base damage. So... Clements could be quite a good one to bring back as well. And I don't need to decide until the end of the day. So what I can do is germinate that new daughter and see what she's Give like. life to our daughters. A felicity, we can take a felicity. Please, guide her well. And I should of course double check that I'm yeah, good. You. All right. Um, health is a little on the high side for a blade master, which is reassuring because shoring up weaknesses can be good. Also, you know, boosting strengths is also good because um, as a shield bearer, 706 health at level one is amazing. The armor is actually a bit on the good side as well. Uh, damage. 
isn't that amazing for it? So, I'm thinking the Blade Master class has a very low armor rating, so getting as much extra health as possible would help. But hey, this is just like super tanky. If I'm thinking of bringing back um, my, my level 3 shield bearer, I don't necessarily need Felicity to be a super shield bearer now. But let's take her as a now, shield bearer. Unleash her on any who stand in her way. And then if I do the mission, I should be able to grab a second one. In theory. It's not a very good theory. Because I might want to do something else. Um, so. It's not you. Um, you? Yes, yeah, you. So we have Blanche. Constance and Innocente or Innocente. Let's go in there. Now this We must prepare to pay any price. I should have known. Should have known there'd be voice over there. So this um this dialogue line uh, this 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 remembrance I have with plus fifteen percent damage to nightmare creatures. If the boss counts as a nightmare creature, that's great. We delve deep into the dark corners. I see scavengers. I see plague doctors. Let's totally do something about that. If I want to stun, I'm bursting. But okay, here's a dumb idea. Right? Ah, it's going to be a kill after all, right? Okay. Flawless. Oh yeah, sure. Right. He's going in 31 initiative units. Let's just totally do it. And hope that'll be a kill. Now, Connie, be a good girl. Don't get killed. And now... Whoop! Big Shred them down. Right, these are quick. They're really quick. Um, oof. I'm thinking I'm going to burst here. Oh! No extra enemies at all. Right, then just get right all the way over here. And say, hey, I've got a shield, I hope it's good enough. Yep, seven damage is good. I mean, well, it's not ideal. No damage would be better. Hey, Blanche, could you, like, totally, you know, set up your sisters to murder these things? A bitter victory. Uh... I don't think... Actually, I do think. I 
think I can get the kill here. Shred them down. So that was a nice and relatively successful starting mission. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. Not too hard. Making good progress here. Though the danger passes, we must prepare for the next. So now, I could create a new daughter, or... What memory has this agony uncovered? Or insert a memory. And I'm thinking... That memory um, would be best used. Oh, I got a new remembrance. That's brilliant. And I'll explain why in a bit. Um, the, so, new daughter and new memory, I don't need to decide until the next day. Also, we have traits. Oh, aggressive on a shield bearer. That's actually quite helpful. No one else got traits. Okay. So, Innocente, um, getting that 20% damage would be really nice. Okay, let's see. New skill. Well, have they patched this yet? Because one of these, I think it was a, a Sword Mistress one, which had the wrong one, right? I will go Blacksmith's Grace again because I quite like the skill. Um, word on the Discord server is that you only get... 180. You don't get 180 for each incoming attack, and that the each incoming attack only applies to the 15 initiative boost. However, if so, there's there's no comma. That's not a um, a new sentence. That's really misleading. There's at least three different ways of interpreting this. The armor boost is good anyway, so I will take it. Um, why is it telling me about the trait when I've already seen it? I know. I know it's fair. Game, you don't need to tell me. I know. Right. Uh, Shadow Round for the extra damage. Now, the extra damage is nice, but if the enemy has high armor, it's a separate attack, so the armor is going to essentially apply twice. Wrathful Rain. It would be handy to know how many action points it would take to move. So to you know, because I'm getting a free attack against eight squares with this hop back, but knowing how many of those action points of those 35 it would cost to move that far would help me know how you know what good value for points this is, right? Um, Shadow round's really nice, but it is a, a health cost reaction. Um. I'll go Wrathful Rain for now, and I may regret that later on. And then with Innocente, um, I'm still thinking the Lightning Strike is good for closing distance, and movable stance is very defensive. Um, I think Immovable Stance was the one, but I had the wrong video before. Um... So this isn't the one that hits them back when she takes damage, or the one that... Right, no, so this is... They have to move up, so... It is reliant on enemy movement. Uh, it's a good amount of damage, but I'll, I'll go Lightning Strike because it's a... It's good for covering distance. I think I'm going to hold off on germinating your daughter and on resurrecting one just yet. What have we here that is new? Ah, oh, the Caretakers. The Caretaker is the last evolution of the Plague Doctor. It will grant armor and resistance to its master. It will attack the closest daughter if disturbed in its reverie. If two daughters are the same distance away, it will focus form for most health. That's good to know. They were circling me, and I sensed their inquisitive eyes behind their beaked masks. Despite my torpor, I knew they had come to the theatre to view the play taking place on my raw skin. 
The scissors cut me open. Oh, I bet we did that without anaesthetic as well. Now, do we have... Ah, the surgeon, right. The surgeon is protected by a group of caretakers. As long as the caretakers are on the battlefield, he will try to attack the closest daughter and, if necessary, replace a missing caretaker each turn. Caretakers are lost in their reverie, following the surgeon closely and granting him armor and resistance boosts. If a daughter gets too close, they will attack the closest one. Kill the last caretaker and the surgeon will become more aggressive, targeting the daughter with the most life and unlocking several new skills. Yes. That's very good to know. We didn't get to see it in our last attempt, but good to know. Human madness knows no limit, as long as it has a cause to feed on. The surgeon was convinced of the righteousness of his own actions, and would have been able to use logic to justify any of the deadly drugs he injected into the helpless child. Blinded by his thirst for success, his science could not save him from disgrace. Now corrupted but to his substantive marrow, the surgeon is nothing more than an empty shell of harmful conviction steeped in hatred. I do like the fact we're piecing together the great big story behind this all. It's a lot of fun. And we have... Remember. Unlocked a new remembrance. Now. We can activate this remembrance right now. Minus 25% Vitae cost to equip memories. I think that's a really good one to get. And yes, that's coming from our stack of shards saved up during our previous run. Now, looking at these, what else can we get soon? So this stuff down here is all late game boss stuff. But up here, what do we have? Close 10 synapses to unlock. Yeah, so that's one we would... Hmm. Deal 10,000 damage. Well, we dealt 5,000 damage. Uh, 15 synapses to unlock. We, should, we might get that one quite soon, whatever it is. Um, possibly these two. Uh, 25 memories to skills. That's going to be a while. 5,000. Yeah, so these two are probably what we're getting next. Remember their courage. I mean... Yeah, Blanche is just looking really tanky. I'd like to bring her back. But I think I want to hold off for now. Let's progress to the next day and see how many synapses become available. Let suffering try to rule us. We stand ready to fight. Okay, so one synapse. Impossible. <laughs> well, that, that's really encouraging, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Remember their courage. Okay, let's see. Oh god, Clements and Blanche would both be really good to bring back. Amy, not so much. Honor, maybe. It's tricky, isn't it? You know, I think that's something I should ask you guys, maybe. But I'm batch recording these and I'm. I'm recording, uh, like, you know, two or three episodes a night, pretty much, at this point. I could probably record a few more, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, if I, if I stop now and wait for a response, uh, this would be, like, episode six, and I've... I've only uploaded three so far, so it would be at least like half a week before I got a response from you guys. So, yeah. I think I should just make the call myself. Um, let's see what kind of... Curse Therapists and Scavengers. Okay. 
let's look at our existing daughters. The extra damage on Blanche is going to be very helpful. 151, 88, 53, 109. Okay, okay, okay. So, I don't need Blanche's Remember extra their damage. Courage. Right? Um, You know what? Clements just has massive damage. And without fanfare or anything extra special in here, we now have Clements. She's back from the dead. She's been remembered, she is not forgotten. And now that impossible mission might not be quite so impossible. However, that does mean Innocente isn't gaining levels. Well, Felicity, right? Okay, so let's let's do it this way. We will see if we can get Clements to level four, and then if we take Felicity and. Constance. Yes. Give that a try. What more must we sacrifice before the end? Now, I'm well aware this could be nasty and that our Blade Mistress is very These vulnerable. These statues remember no victory, no heroes, only pain. Ortem, it's Metro, backwards! Because this is a weird, twisted reflection of reality. Here we have what appears to be a version, vision of the child watching over the battlefield, and a large statue of something behind him reaching out for him. Can't quite make that out, unfortunately. Uh, we have 12 enemies remaining. Two, three curse therapists. More visions of the child. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, more plague doctors. You see, the plague is always touching the child, so reaching out for him, holding on to him. Okay. So if we nip to here. So it looks like they're going to be trying to shoot me. Okay. Here we come. Oh, they're just repositioning a little for now, getting closer. Uh, I suspect we might have two massive shots queued up. Just one. Awesome. We can live with that. Thing is, I don't want to shoot, so I won't shoot. Instead, I'll go to here and say, hey, you. And since I'm bursting now, I know I might as well kill, so it seems a bit of waste to burst. A bitter victory. So, actually, bursting means Felicity is now the one they want to target. So, I'll rush up here to remove some line of sight. Just hide behind the cover. More of his doctors. Or should I say acolytes? Two down that way. Lovely. Um, Bleed them dry. Three. Okay, I kind of want to... 
just move to there and then turn. If I rush up here and kill this one, then I'll get massive shots from them, so that doesn't feel wise. I'll just move to here and wait and hope they don't start taking single shots. Okay, yeah. Interesting. Oh, this is gonna hurt. They collect pieces of broken souls. What new horrors must we face? Mm. Uh, Connie, be a dear and shoot this one, would you? Better shoot it again. I revel in her strength. I can't take this one down. I could move and get the single shot, but that wouldn't finish it off. Ah, yeah, but it's ignoring her anyway. But then we're into burst territory. If we burst with Clements. Lightning strike. I don't know if that's gonna break their stances or not. Okay, let's let's gamble here. That didn't break it. That's interesting. Why didn't it break it? Oh god, that's bad. Okay, dearie, do your thing. I revel in her strength. And then if I move to that's coming in 14, so I need to try. Wait, why? Okay, fine. Thirty action points. Why can't I? One, two, three, four. He's right here. Okay. Do it this way, then. You can't stop progress. The cure will be found. Let's try and force him to back away, and then we're going to get rushed by this one. Yep. Okay. And even they more scavengers. Of broken souls. Yeah, this is just gonna hurt like hell. Connie, dear, you gotta burst, love. Shoot them a lot. Whatever we can to prevent this torture. Okay. Incepting round might have been a good choice, but he's backed up, so that's good. Oh, the damage, the constant damage. And we're not going to be able to heal her for a long time either, which means she's probably sitting out waiting till the boss fight. While we try and train someone up to level 3 to heal her. Thank you for backing up. Right. I mean, a stun would be good. As would a kill, and they don't have a lot of health. Striking. 
I'm bursting already, so... Sure. One less to plague the innocent. And... I've got to be careful here because there will be more enemies coming. There will be three more enemies coming. But I think I need to just try for a big kill here. Right. You are 45, you are 20. If I go to there and set up a lightning strike, you're going to get a turn first, so it'll be wasted. Because you'll move away. But I will get the kill on that one, guaranteed. And you will probably move away and not attack her. Oh, 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 no. No mercy. Oh well, that works. Another terror to haunt us. I meant. It. Yeah, I messed up badly there. So when you click the wrong skill, because it's like they gone five in the morning. And call it yeah, science. that happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay, Connie, this is perfect. More of his doctors. Or should I say acolytes? If you could showcase your new skill now, that'd be great. Uh, one, two, three. There's only one more enemy and it's coming from over here. That's a good distance, so I think... Go first. Not ideal, but we can manage. So you're going to bugger off and target Clements with a direct shot. Okay, we'll take that. All right. Did you get in here and? Do some damage, just straight up damage. Up. A clean cut. And then a slam into this guy. Which should push him behind Connie. Awesome. And then get over there so Connie gets a better shot. Alright, Clements, go tidy up. We've taken some nasty damage this fight, so... Has its setbacks. My feeling is that new daughters in order. You're bursting in a way, get nearer the fight. Connie! Shoot stuff. Like, dead. Dead, dead. No mercy. And then... Theoretically... I think we try to end the mission here before there's any more opportunities to take damage. There we go. Down. So, Clements is the only one who took real damage there. Felicity and Constance are in pretty good shape. Come what may, we will slow suffering's progress. What will you remember now? Now that went quite well. Uh, Constance, you have arrogant. Why do all the gunslingers get arrogant? I mean, I know it's to do with something they do, but it, it, and it's not class specific, but their class seems more prone to getting it. Um, right, the Felicity. Uh, oh, let's compare. Um, so, Blanche is level two. Um, 
Felicity has much more health. 81, 87. Uh, 86. Okay, so Blanche has a lot more damage output, actually. And Felicity is much more defensive. But we get her Blacksmith's Grace as well. And I will get another Shield Bash um, daughter at some point, too. Uh, slam. I mean, that's only on Slam, right? That's not... That shouldn't be affecting her base damage bonus. But, ah, 50. So her base damage is 101, 86. So yeah, that's kind of low. In comparison. Uh, Clements is going to want to be healed. If we can get a level 4 daughter to heal her, that'd be great. If we can't, oh well. Um, let's absolutely germinate a new daughter. We could do with another gunner at this point. Give life to our daughters. And hope. Please, guide her well. They're all word names, they're all very aspirational. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, sure, it can be a soul slinger. I don't see anything too distinctive there that indicates a particular class. Now, unleash her on any who stand in her way. Ah, yes. Now, um, we still have a drill. Increase the damage of a skill by 20%. Right, yeah, so I was thinking that'd be really good for a sword mistress where they do high damage. Um, Innocente might be the one to go for, to be honest. Um... I think I'll hold off a while and see how it... Wait, did we get another new Remembrance? Remember. Yes. Preserved Heart. All daughters gain plus 15% damage to cultists. Yeah, we're grabbing this straight away. And do we have a way of telling? Um, I think we'll have to tell in mission on examine what kind of group they belong to, but nightmare creatures and cultists. I'm pretty sure cultists applies to the plague doctors, plague guards, plague butchers, curse for like this whole group is like cultists. And then things like the hunter and scavengers might be nightmare creatures. But hey, I've been playing for a good length of time and it's probably the child has released yet another memory. Ooh. A new event. Time slips by. Lost. Daughters can do an unlimited number of missions per day. However, you cannot see their details or manage them. Oh. Whoa. So I just I just can't go to the inner void at all. Ooh. Well, that's going to make for a fun and exciting episode next time, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that seems like a good time for me to take a break then. I hope you all enjoyed this one, and I will look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!